back to We're Having Fun. <laughs> it's the podcast where we have fun. I'm Mark. Hi. Hi, I'm Krista. Krista Lee Johnson, how are you? That is my name. Yep, that's, that's, <laughs> that's my it. Name. That's her name. <laughs> Don't wear it out. What's up in the world, dog? Oh, well, I mean, speaking of dogs. <laughs> oh, my dog puppies. is here. He's here. He's not been feeling very good yeah. this weekend. A little sickly. Yeah. He's, he's, he's doing okay. Yeah, he's doing better, I think. So. Yeah. Poor little guy. Any new news? E.T.'s a plant. <laughs> 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 we found this out today. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. I don't believe you. Yeah, that's weird. I don't. I don't know why anyone would ha- ever say that, but okay, sure. Neil deGrasse Tyson says E.T.'s a plant, and it's Spielberg told him that's the truth. So well, that's our world now. That's, where, <laughs> that's what we live in. We have to live with that fact. I guess so. I don't like it. <laughs> um, Otherwise, is there anything else going on? Um, Andor came out on Disney Plus. The did. first three episodes. We've watched none of it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once it's all released. Yeah, I was going to say. Or maybe if I hear really good things about it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll get around to it eventually. Maybe. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I kind of want to see it just for completionist's sake, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, I still haven't seen like some of the other ones. (laughs) No. I've seen the holiday special. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, I haven't seen like... Clone Rebels Wars. or Clone Wars yeah. or Bad Batch. Right. Yeah. But those are all those are all animated ones. Yeah, those too. are for kids. That's not what I meant. <laughs> We're gonna get, How dare you? <laughs> I'm gonna is, get such backlash over that. That is not what I meant. <laughs> no, I just don't like the animation style on most of them. Oh, take that. Specific animators. I mean, that's cool that you like it, but you know, it's not for me. It's not for me. Well, Great. (laughs) 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 Really breaking down the big stuff. All right. Let's talk She-Hulk. Okay. Okay. Episode six. Just Jen, attorney at law. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. She's a bridesmaid, baby. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't really have a lot to say about this. Yeah, I got a few things. Okay, she's yeah, she's a bridesmaid for an old high school friend of hers, Lulu. Who sucks? Oh, she's the worst. Oh, she um, has a cute dog. It's true. So she shows up, Jen shows up at the at the rehearsal. She's in her She-Hulk form. Yeah. And of course, Lulu's like, um, this is not what I asked for. <laughs> so she's like, it's fine. I'm not gonna be like that at the wedding. I'm gonna be regular Jen, you know, just Jen. So I thought that because she got, she said she got that dress from that. Dude who makes the special clothes. Yes. I thought it was supposed to be like, works for her and She-Hulk. But right? But whenever she gets small Jen, it does not. it's a big old dress on her. It does not work for her. Yeah. The other one works, I feel like, the bridesmaid dress, even though it's not like a great dress. It, it still it's fits still, better. It's still real loose on her, though. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. That, that first one was... It was it was huge. Man. Yeah, because I thought that was the point. I, I thought, thought that, that was the was point too. Maybe, yeah, because I know that she was supposed to have a suit. Yeah, and so maybe the suit works that way, but that dress does not. <sighs> yeah, so I'm confused. Yeah, mm, her best friend Titania shows up. Yes, she does. She shows up. She's like, yeah, I was. I'm a plus one for somebody. You know, well, who was coming to the wedding? I think. Yeah. yeah, whatever. And Jen's like, "You're just here because I'm here." Yeah. She's like, "How could you even think that?" You know, <laughs> even though she just threatened her in mm-hmm. court, but you know, and sure it's fine. Yeah. And then Lulu comes up and she's like, "Hey, so um, most of the staff have left because of how I was treating them or whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna need you to like clean up." Yeah, pretty much. She makes her uh, she iron. Her, like, iron stuff. It's like. What? She doesn't have a groomsman to accompany her because well, she, her groomsman is Well, the she does dog. have she does have a groomsman, but the groomsman is not there the day of the rehearsal. She'll have to she'll meet right. Jonathan. Jonathan at the wedding. Yeah. He'll be there for the wedding tomorrow and it's a dog. <laughs> it is a little bitty dog. It's very cute. Honestly though, though I would love to walk a dog I down there. I would be like that's my my job. Yes. Yes. And we'll take it. <laughs> way better so yeah her groomsman is a dog her cousin ched is the is the dj there dj incheddable hulk <laughs> ridiculous he looks like johnny depp and willy wonka 
I wasn't paying her that much attention, I guess. <laughs> of course, Titania decides that she's going to start a fight with her, with Jen. Jen gets super drunk, by the way. Yes. She's just like, yeah, I'm just going to get drunk during this she's wedding. She's like, why not? And she's having a good time. She's like, this is the only thing I have going for me right now at this wedding. <laughs> so yeah, she's like dancing up a storm, yep. getting drunk. And then Titania starts a fight with her. Yeah. And she t- turns into She-Hulk. Yeah, which she had been told, don't go She-Hulk. Mm-hmm. This is my wedding. Don't show me up. Exactly. But she does it anyway. Because, you know, she doesn't really have a choice. And so she beats up Titania. Although technically Titania (laughs) kind of beats herself up. Yeah. (laughs) She just just trips and falls. slipping on stuff. Yeah. And she, like, breaks her veneers and everything. And she just walks out. She takes, like, the groom's cake with her. She's like, I'm taking this. This wedding (laughs) sucks. my cake. Walks off. Yes. Um, There's also, we didn't talk about it, there's this guy named Josh that is there that comes up and talks to Uh Jen. Uh-huh. Maybe a love interest. Maybe Maybe a a bad guy. guy. (laughs) Yeah. Because... Yeah, well, because the bride is, like, happy she's <laughs> She-Hulk and that she yeah. showed up for whatever reason. Yeah, because she comes in and she's wasted and she's like, yeah. She-Hulk is at my wedding? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, she has a nice connection with Josh. They're eating some fries afterwards. Mm-hmm. And then it's like she's being watched by... By someone. Some group. Yep. And it's like, what's going on? Is Josh one of the wrecking crew? Don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they've created some kind of new syringe to try to get her blood, whoever uh-huh. is tracking her. Big old thick syringe. Mm-hmm. It's not going to break on her skin. It's thick with two C's. It's thick with two C's for sure. And there's also a website out there called Intelligentsia. Well, we, we should talk about the B-plot overall. Okay. Because okay. it's Nikki's working with, what's her name? Mallory. Mallory. Book. Yeah. And they're representing Mr. Immortal, mm-hmm. who is a Great Lakes Avenger, who is like, it's like a, it's pretty much a comedy group. Okay. And his thing is he can never die. He just keeps coming back. He like kind of dies and then comes back. And it's just over and over again. Mm -hmm. And the Great Lake Avengers, turns out most of them are actually mutants, but he's not. He's... He's not human or a mutant, so I don't know. But he it, he kind of goes into a dark place because he has one of the... What, okay, the founding members of the Great Lakes Avengers are Doorman, who's a guy who pretty much turns into a door to anywhere. Uh, okay, dumb, but Flatman. Sure. Okay, how dare you? Flatman. <laughs> Flatman is basically Mr. Fantastic. He even like, makes himself look like Mr. Fantastic just okay. so he can, you know, go off his fame a little bit. Big Bertha, who is basically like a model who can turn herself morbidly obese and she becomes really strong and invulnerable and then the way she goes back to her regular form is she throws up all the fat it is real weird i don't know i don't like these these <laughs> it, superheroes it's somehow better in the comics i don't know squirrel girls joins up every once in a while okay that's the only one that i actually like <laughs> yeah Mr. Immortal has a girlfriend who is a girl that looks kind of like a pterodactyl. What would you think her name would be? Pterodact girl. <laughs> Close. No. <laughs> it is Dinah Soar. <laughs> I hate whoever came up with all of this. It's great. <laughs> So there, yeah, and she gets killed and he gets real depressed. Anyway, so it was just, I was very surprised to see Mr. Immortal. Didn't expect them to ever show up in anything. But there he is. There he is. And he's kind of an older dude and he's just looking to get a divorce from like a ton of Seven or eight women. Partners, yeah. At least. Yeah. Because, and he's kind of a garbage person. Yeah, because he keeps like, he'll decide suddenly that he doesn't want to be married to someone anymore. Uh-huh. So then he like dies to get out of his marriage. Yeah, fakes his death. Yeah, he'll just like walk out into traffic and get hit. And then, okay, that's, he's dead. <laughs> so that's, he's got like all these different identities. Uh-huh. And he just keeps killing them off because he doesn't want to deal with like confrontation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so they start like arguing. Mallory and Nikki start a- arguing with him, and he just like walks over and jumps out the window yeah. to get away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty dark. Yeah, but so. uh, Nikki does figure out how to fix everything, basically. Yeah. 
so that they can all get their divorces and they all get what they want. Yeah, he's got quite a bit of money because he said he was married to Baroness Cromwell, who's Baroness Blood in the comics. Okay. She's an old, like, vampire <laughs> or something. So, yeah. And I guess he got her money. Guess so, so. Yeah, he's doing fine. <laughs> and his partners get a lot of that. Yeah. So they settle that. And then, yeah, they're looking... What? Why did they get onto Intelligentsia? Who was... They were watch. They were watching a video of him when he fell out of the window and crashed into the car. They were watching a video of him on online. I don't know if it was on that. I guess it wasn't on that website, but or maybe it was. But they saw something about She Hulk on there and said so they click it and they had to make like a profile and everything on that page or on that website, Intelligentsia. Mm-hmm. And they had to like in the profile they write about like how much they hate women and stuff yeah, because that's how they. Pull out <laughs> How they get can get into it. Yeah. But on that website, there's like ev- all this whole huge thread basically about She Hulk and um, all these people doing like death threats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Very shots fired at all the stupid internet trolls out there mm-hmm. just hating on She Hulk just because they're bad people, <laughs> basically. <Yeah. laughs> and just sad people. But yeah, Mallory's like, don't tell. Don't tell Jen about this. She doesn't need to have one more thing to worry about, you know? Yeah. And Nikki, like, immediately goes gets her car. Is like, hey, uh, so Mallory told me I shouldn't tell you about this, but <laughs> whoops, just told you anyway. Guess so, what? Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's her voicemail, so. Yeah, so she'll get it later. Hopefully. Intelligentsia in the comics has to do with MODOK. Okay. Do you know who MODOK is? It's the big brain guy? Big, big head, big head man, head. yeah. The mental organism designed only for killing. That's that's old MODOK, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll see MODOK. We don't have like a big bad, and it's really <laughs> irking me. MODOK's the big bad, baby. Maybe he's the big leader. Or maybe it's the leader. Could be. Could and we be. know he's coming back. He's coming back in Captain America, yeah. We'll see. So, I don't yeah. know, but I mean, we're already on... We've got like two episodes left. Yeah, so this is episode six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are they really just going to do a Hawkeye and then suddenly <laughs> the bad guy shows up in like the next to last episode? Maybe. I mean, we've had Titania around. Yeah, but she's like the minor bad. I guess so. She's just like the, the thorn in her side. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, they did say it was just a... A, a law, law drama, law procedural or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> come on. It's also a superhero show. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. It may be the same deal. <laughs> it's tough when you got to like establish these characters and everything mm-hmm. and get them going. So, I don't know. All right. So, that's She-Hulk for this week. Yep. Thought it was a good episode. I liked the Mr. Immortal shout out. Yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of nice little Easter eggs. It was good. And now we move on to our next Marvel movie in the timeline there. Mm-hmm. Our favorite Marvel movie. <laughs> I don't, it's not like I hate this. I, I liked it better this time than when I first saw it. It's fun. This is like, I think it's only like the third time that I've seen the movie. But. Yeah, I think, yeah, I haven't seen it many times. If, if, if I saw it a second time, I'll be surprised. I, uh, this may be, this is either the second or third time I've seen it. That's well, I know it. it's definitely the third time I've seen it because I saw it, I watched it about a year and a half ago, maybe even longer than that, at my mom's house. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we were just like flipping through the channels and I was like, oh, Iron Man 3 is on. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? So. Yeah. It had an interesting premise uh, going into it of the Mandarin and mm-hmm. all that. So I was excited going in and we got something <laughs> <laughs> so what what what's iron man 3 about what they do oh, what he what he do what he do well first of all it starts off you see all of the iron man suits blowing up in his little lair thing i don't know what it's called his what is what is it called i don't know <laughs> his little garage his little garage thing i don't know his Place work, where he works, work, his workspace. Workspace, yeah. I, I don't know. So it his, shows his man cave. <laughs> yeah, so it shows that uh, the suits blowing up, and it's like, uh oh, what's happening? And then it's like, but I have to. We have to go back and tell the whole story or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it's like, all right, 1999, let's play this stupid blue <laughs> song, this Eiffel 65 song that I absolutely despise. You hate that song. I hate song. this song so much. And this is the second time this week that I've had to hear it. Yeah. And, no, technically the third because he, we, yeah, we he do kept trivia. Yeah, playing it again. Yep. Yeah, we do trivia on Tuesdays. And one of the questions was about this song uh-huh. and so he plays the song and then he has to play it again <laughs> to give the answer and i'm like i hate it so much i'm like Ugh. so should we play it just so no. they know what song we're talking about no if you play it i will quit this podcast <laughs> so yeah just know that i don't like that song and what makes it even worse is it's called blue uh-huh. and blue is my favorite color yep. and i'm like why why have you ruined blue for me all right, so he's it's 1999. Yes. Bad music is playing. Yes, he's with a hot lady. He's in Bern, Switzerland. Bern, Switzerland. He's with a lady named Maya, and Happy's looking real good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he looks like he just stepped out of Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does have the John Travolta hair, <laughs> just straight up. It's it's great. <laughs> He's trying to be just a heck of a security guard. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it is New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. They're walking around, Tony and this woman, and he runs into this guy named Jensen. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'll talk to you later or whatever. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you will. <laughs> um, Whether you want to or not. Exactly. Because, of course, if you remember, Jensen is the guy who was in the cave with him when he made the Iron Man suit for the first time. Yeah. And didn't he say he ran into him, like, some yeah. years ago or yeah, whatever? Yeah, he said, uh, yeah, I met you before in Bern, I think. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> so <laughs> And he doesn't. So there we go. Um, they go to get on the elevator, and this guy jumps on with them. Mm-hmm. And his name is Aldrich... Is it Aldrich? I think so. Killian? Yeah. Something like that. Right. Uh, Killian is what I'm going to call him because mm-hmm. that's his last name. It's easier. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Pierce. Mm-hmm. Looking real nerdy. Yep. Real nerdy. And he's talking about this company that he has called Advanced Idea Mechanics, mm-hmm. which is AIM. AIM. I hate AIM. AIM is the worst organization. Another organization that made MODOK. Oh, <laughs> So cool. just a lot of MODOK stuff here today. Great. But AIM is the dumbest. They wear like BI costumes and they're they're dumb. They're scientists, but they look stupid. I hate Just them. like Killian. Just scientists like that look stupid. Just like Killian. <laughs> so anyway, um, he's trying to get Tony to like, I don't know, uh, work for him or work with him yeah, or something. Yeah, just go into business with yeah, him or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And Tony's like, um... <laughs> I got other important things to deal with right now, but he gives him his card and gives Maya his card also. Mm-hmm. And uh, Tony's like, as he's leaving the elevator, he's like, go up to the roof. I'll meet you up there in five yeah, minutes. Yeah, we'll talk this out. Yeah. And so I he's like, like what you're pitching, buddy. Exactly. So he's like, all right, cool. So he goes up to the roof. Tony does not meet no, him on the roof. He just sits up there. <laughs> exactly. A little cold. That's sad. Yeah. So he goes into the room with Maya. She's showing him what she's been working on. It is called called extremists extremists yep. yes and it basically can go in and change dna uh-huh and um she's been working on it with like plants and stuff so yeah. it can like regrow things and you see it actually regrow the plant that happy because happy's touches. being a jerk he yeah. is because she's like don't touch that plant she doesn't like it uh-huh and he just like as soon as they walk out of the room he just starts pulling leaves off yeah. <laughs> it's like happy stop <laughs> it but then it shows it it regrows its leaves back and everything mm-hmm. but then suddenly <gasps> there's an explosion yeah there's a glitch in the program <laughs> yeah so the glitch made i'm assuming it was the plant explode and happy doing a great job of diving on Tony. Oh, yeah. Protection. After the explosion has already happened, like 10 <laughs> seconds after it has happened, he's like, oh, I guess I better jump on Tony. And Tony's like, get off of me, dude. So, yeah. Oh, happy. He's like, happy, just just get out of here. <laughs> so he walks off and then, yep, that's pretty much it. It's mm-hmm. Y2K. Oh, because he thinks it's Y2K. Yeah. Happy's oh, like, yeah. Y2K. <laughs> he's like, it's Y2K and just jumps on top of it. <laughs> But no, it, everything's fine. Then we go to present day. Tony's working on some kind of thing with his suit where he's like, he puts something into his arm so that he yeah, can call his got suit like to him. Chip in his arm, yeah. Yeah. So he can call the new suit to him and everything. And I guess he can like point to where it needs to go, too. I don't know. Because, yeah, he's able to like 
dab and throw it at other places. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he's got a dunce hat on one of his robots. Oh, <laughs> I love those little guys. <laughs> I do. He's so mean to him in this one, though. He is, well, he's mean to him in all of them. He honestly. is, but this one's like super Real mean. Real super mean, yeah. They saved his life. Yeah, they like, have saved his life so many times like, and he's just so he mean to them. them. Uh, but whatever. So on the TV, I don't know if it's there or where it is, where the TV is that it shows it. There's uh, the Ten Rings and the Mandarin. Mm-hmm. This is our first look at the Mandarin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ben Kingsley, mm-hmm. going all out, and he's talking about there's a there was a some place in Kuwait. He like yeah. he does a terrorist attack at some place in Kuwait. Yeah, blows it up and everything. He's like that was me, mm-hmm. and basically he's just gonna keep doing stuff like that. Yeah, he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Yeah. <clears throat> so we also see that Rhodey is no is no longer a war machine. Mm-hmm. He's now Iron <laughs> Iron Patriot. Patriot. Yep. Ugh. Hate the Iron Patriot. Why? So so hokey. I mean, it it well, came yeah. it it came about in the Dark Avengers when Norman Osborn led the Avengers, and which was like an evil version of the Avengers, mm-hmm. and he wore the Iron Patriot armor instead. So it's bad connotations. Why do I feel like I've read that comic series? Or parts of it. I don't it. know. We, we did an episode over it for our podcast, so maybe you read it for that. Does it Does it have, what was her name, Victoria? The one that was like, um, was her, Hand? Is that her name? Yeah, she's, she's in it for a bit. I think I may have done her voice in something. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was not the voice that they have in the cartoon that you watched. That sounded like my voice, but my voice while I'm trying to do Snape. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, he is, he's now Iron Patriot because War Machine just sounded too... It's aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it's very aggressive. I mean, honestly, it's it hard is. To sell. Yeah. <laughs> so he's talking to Rhodey about this. He's like in a restaurant or whatever, and these kids come up and they want him to sign their little drawing of mm-hmm. Iron Man saving New York or whatever. Yeah. And so he's trying to sign it with a crayon and the crayon breaks and he just like has a full blown anxiety attack. Freaking out. And he runs out and he like gets into his suit and he's like, you have to check. There's something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And and, uh, Jarvis Jarvis, is, (laughs) I forgot Jarvis's name for a minute. I was like vision. He is like. Dang it. No. (laughs) So Jarvis is like, there's nothing wrong with you. (laughs) You're just having an anxiety attack. You're fine. (laughs) <laughs> Rody comes out and he's like, dude, you're you're freaking people out. And he's like, I gotta go. So he just flies off. <laughs> yeah, he's got some PTSD after the New York stuff. Oh, definitely. So Happy is now the head of security for Stark Enterprises mm-hmm. or whatever. And so he's no longer he's no longer Iron Man's bodyguard because when he would tell people he was Iron Man's bodyguard, they'd be like, they'd just laugh at him. Yeah, like, what's he gonna do? It's like, what are you gonna do? He's Iron Man. <laughs> So anyway, he's he's there reminding people to wear their security yeah. badges and stuff. It's like his main thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the badge. And uh, Pepper is there. She's going to a meeting with someone who she used to work with, who mm-hmm. had a crush on her and was always asking her out. And she was just like, no. Yeah, because he's so nerdy. Nerdy, exactly. So she goes in there and it's Killian. Mm-hmm. But it's hot Killian But now. he's hot now. Yeah. <laughs> he's like so hot now. <laughs> he is real hot. He now. does look a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> this is definitely not my favorite of his roles. This is... Yeah. He doesn't look that good in this. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, he was in a movie called Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Okay. Where he was a drag queen. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. He was very good looking. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that was the first thing I ever saw, man. I was like, hello. <laughs> it's like, yes, you're playing a gay man. Because he was. But, yeah. Whew. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's there. He's showing Pepper Extremis, Extremis, however you want to say it. So he's showing Pepper all about Extremis, and it is something that was like attached to your brain somehow. Yeah, and he's doing like a live feed of his brain. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you can see all okay. So you can see all the like synapses firing and all mm-hmm. that. Because she, he even gets her to pinch him so that yeah, he can show that you know it's actually happening in real time. Yeah, I think that she's and he's like offering her opportunity to get in on it and mm-hmm. do all that, and she's like, Nah, dog, we're good. No, we're good. Thanks for coming by, though. <laughs> exactly. So happy. He's got he he's checking on it. Uh, Killian's henchman is just out yes. there. Being all Jason Statham out there. Mm-hmm. And Happy does not like it. Does not, because he's not putting on the badge. He's just got uh-huh. it next to him, and he don't trust him for anything. Yeah, so he's like, I'm going to follow him. I'm yeah, find he goes out full everything. stalking of this guy. Yep. Like, Happy, what are you doing, bro? Exactly. And he, this has to be before. Yeah, so Happy follows the guy and sees him meet somebody. Uh huh. At the Gromans Chinese Theater. Yes, and the guy is wearing like dog tags and everything, and something weird happens to him, and he just like explodes. Yeah, this guy he, just explodes because it looks like he's they're doing like a drug deal or something. Yes, because he drops off a suitcase with him and starts leaving. Guy just starts overheating, mm-hmm. and yeah, he blows up. He blows Luckily, up. Luckily, happily, he's able to get behind a food cart or something. Yeah, that- because. Anybody saves him. Yeah, because everybody that was kind of close to that guy is just immediately disintegrated. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that he would survive that. I don't think he would. It's like, oh, it's 3,000 degrees. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's he's like, dead, bro. Mm, like, pretty sure Happy would be dead. Yeah. Even the extremist guy who's an extremist, Jason Statham. Yeah. He's he's super messed up, but yeah. he has the extremist in him, so he's, he's able, able to, to like heal himself. Regen, yeah. Yeah. And Happy's trying to grab some dog tags, but it's too far away. Yeah. But he's pointing at him. Yeah, I don't really know what exactly, like, what, why I put this in my notes, but I just put, Happy, you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, he just, he was, he's very Oh, I remember unselfy. what it was. I remember what it was. It was because the guy finds him. Oh, And he's yeah. like, oh, are you looking for this or whatever? I'm yeah, because like, he like. Don't show him what you just took. Yeah. Just he, get <laughs> he stole one of the things in the suitcase because he ran into the guy. That was and it. Mm-hmm. they all fell down. So he grabbed one as he was helping him <laughs> pick him up. And he's like, I got what you're on. Like, dude, happy. Just he's just going to beat you up. Literally stick it in your pocket and walk away. Yes, run. <laughs> walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so dumb. Very yep, dumb. Very dumb. But then the Mandarin gets back on and he's talking about... How fortune cookies are not actually Chinese. <laughs> yeah. They're American. They were made from some kind of Japanese thing, though. Yeah. And and then it talks about how they're not even tasty. And I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> sir? How dare you? I love fortune cookies. They are a treat. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and he sounds... He does not sound like Ben Kingsley. No. And he's talking... He's like, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what all else tear he says. Down that tear, wall. I was gonna say tear down that wall. I was like, that's not what he says. And anyway, that's that's more of a you thing. <laughs> well, because <laughs> this is the point in the movie where Mark just starts doing his Reagan impersonation, but it's only one word. <laughs> Like, yeah, because he just keeps calling out the president, so I just I didn't hear the president say anything, so I thought I'd help out. So yeah, every few every, every time he shows up, Mark's like, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it was great yeah oh so yeah he's like talking about chi- the fortune cookies and everything in chinese and then the chinese grauman theater and all that stuff and so you know he was the one who did it he's mm-hmm. taking credit for it yeah and tony is some i don't remember where he is but there are all these like press there and they're asking him about the mandarin yeah and so he's like uh Here's a message for the I Mandarin. I think he maybe came to the site because Happy had been there. Maybe the site of the explosion. Maybe. But yeah, he's like, here's a message for the Mandarin. This is my address. Come yeah. get me or whatever. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Happy dumb. is dumb. And now Tony's being yeah. dumb. I was like, why would you do this? Yeah. Well, Tony's ego's always been his downfall. So <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. But still, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Exactly. Because... 
I mean, at this point, Pepper lives with him. Yeah. You're putting more you're than p- yourself in danger. <laughs> exactly. Although she is in the process of moving yeah, out. Yeah, she's like, dude, I'm out of here. We're both going to leave because, because well, you're an of, idiot. Well, uh, she's leaving because one of his suits attacked her in the night. Oh, yeah. Because he was having, having a PTSD, nightmare. Yeah. And he accidentally called it to himself and it starts choking her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And she's like, you know what? I think I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he's trying to figure out like everything he can about the explosion. He sees like how much, you know, how big the explosion was. And he traces down another explosion similar to it mm-hmm. in Tennessee, in Rose Hill, Tennessee. He's able to locate the dog tags because mm-hmm. Abby was pointing to him. Yes. And so he knows they're military based because the mm-hmm. other one was a former military person. Yes. So, so he's like, set a trajectory for Tennessee, for Tennessee, baby. Yeah. And that's when the botanist shows up. Well, What's he, her name? yes. Uh, Maya. Maya she shows dongs. up. He's like, yes. ding dong. Yeah. So he goes up there and lets her in. And she's like, you don't remember me. And he's yeah. like, mm, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, she's the girl from Switzerland from the very beginning. Yeah. And she needs to talk to him about something important. Yep. But before she can talk to him, they're attacked, of course. Yeah. Well, Pepper comes down. She's like, who who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she says it in a terrible French accent. <laughs> it's from my Hamilton. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so she comes downstairs and she's, you know, she's been packing her stuff so she can mm-hmm. get out of the air. She, got, she has a huge bunny. Mm-hmm, she does. He it's, bought her a huge bunny for really Christmas. really creepy. Because if you didn't know, this is a Christmas movie. This is movie. a Christmas movie, <laughs> yep. Because hey, it's a Shane Black movie. Hey, if Die Hard can be a Christmas uh-huh. movie because it's set at Christmas time, yeah. then Iron Man 3 can be a Christmas movie. There you go. Because it's set at Christmas time. Yeah. Shane Black likes to set his movies at Christmas time for some reason. Okay. What other movies has he done? I don't know. Uh, What other movies has he done? I just asked you that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not how this works? I think maybe a Lethal Weapon movie. I don't remember. Hmm. Maybe a Predator. A <laughs> Predator at Christmas. <laughs> it was <laughs> Merry Christmas, Predator. <laughs> <laughs> the Predator <laughs> Christmas special. He did do The Predator yeah. in 2018. He did just regular Predator? He's, the first he's, one? Has he been around that long? Surely is he not. old? He's not that old. I think Google is wrong. <gasps> well. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, he did Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Yes, he did that. And that's at Christmas, I believe. Um, the Nice Guys. Lethal Weapon. The yeah. 2016 one. Uh, and the first one. That's what it says. Last Action the Hero? second one. Yep. Dang. He's done a lot of stuff. Last Boy Scout. <gasps> the Monster Squad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not set at Christmas time. <laughs> well, it just, that's the one that he couldn't possibly do it. As good as it gets. Oh, he was just a writer for. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he wrote all those wonderful lines in Monster Squad. <laughs> That may not be his strong suit. <laughs> but anyway, it's a Christmas movie. Yes. So yeah, they're attacked by missiles and mm-hmm. helicopters. Mm-hmm. They're just shooting up his apartment. Well, not apartment. His, his house. house. Yeah. Yeah. And making a mess of it. He um, throws the suit onto Pepper to save her. Mm-hmm. As they're both flying backwards uh-huh. from an explosion. Because he's like... <laughs> Sorry, Maya. <laughs> Sucks to be yeah. you, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And so Pepper's able to get out mm-hmm. with Maya. With Maya, yeah. And then he brings the suit back in. But yep. at that point, the house is crumbling. The house is like falling over the side of the cliff. And there go the robots. Mm-hmm. Those poor robots. Yeah, that was the saddest part. Not that Tony gets stuck under <laughs> under there, underwater, and is about to die. Yeah. No, those robots Those robots, fallen. they're scared. <laughs> he is able to take out two helicopters by throwing a piano and something mm-hmm. else at the other one. Yeah, he throws something and shoots whatever it is he throws. Oh, I think it was like a missile. Because it's like... Something like that, his, yeah. His his boosters aren't working. It's not battle ready. Yeah, it's his new suit. It's his Mark 42 suit. So yeah. it's not ready for anything, really. Yeah. So the weapons don't work. So mm-hmm. you have to like, take one out and throw it at the helicopter and blow it up. Yep. So, yeah. But the Jason Statham helicopter's fine. Yeah. Very lucky for him. And uh, this is also where we started at the beginning, mm-hmm. where all the suits were blowing up. Yeah. So he goes destroying. He goes into the ocean and gets stuck under there for a minute, but he manages to get out because Jarvis like helps him. Mm-hmm. 
So he gets out, and as the helicopter with whatever his face is... is Jason fl- Statham. That is not who it is, <laughs> and I don't know why you keep calling him Jason Statham. He looks like Jason Statham. He doesn't Statham. look like Jason he Statham. Looks like Statham. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, he's, his little helicopter's flying away. Iron Man flies off in, yeah, into the distance. just takes off. Mm-hmm. And I guess Tony's a little hurt because he can't really control what's going on. Yeah, he just kind of passes the out. Iron Man suit's just Inside of the thing. suit, I guess. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he flies away and then suddenly he's crash landing in, well, about five miles away from Rose Hill, Tennessee. Yeah. And he's like, why, why, is it, why did it send me here? It's like, well, there was, you know. That's where we were planning to go. Exactly. Before everything went crazy. Yeah. And Tony's like, who gave you that order? And I'm like, you did. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, because Jarvis is like, I think I might be malfunctioning. It's like, like Jarvis, you're, you're not. not. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony's just being a jerk. <laughs> anyway, so it's snowing and everything, so he has to go find a place to stay. Mm-hmm. He finds like a barn or whatever. Yeah. A shed, something little, like that. A little garage barn thing. Yeah. And with um, some tools in it. Well, yeah, it's got some tools in there. And while he's in there, this kid comes in. Yep. Because it's where he lives or whatever. And he sees the suit. He's like, oh my gosh, it's Iron Man. Mm-hmm. So he's all excited about it. He's like, well, I'm Iron Man. He's like, well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> You're just the mechanic. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the kid decides that he's going to help him. His name is Harley, by the way. Okay. So Harley is going to help him. He's going to help him find whatever he needs to fix up the suit and also get him a tuna sandwich because <laughs> he's like, where's my tuna the sandwich? The stuff. Yeah. Exactly. He, we find out that he's presumed dead also because he's like, I'm Tony Stark. And he's like, uh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've just presumed him dead because mm-hmm. he just flew off. You would think. With well, I don't all know the, if like, they saw him fly off. Well, they should have. They should have. Because there were before the attack, there's like there were other a ton of press helicopters yeah. there. Like, they should have all seen that, but no, apparently not. It's not. Anyway, so... Oh, Harley was in the new Jurassic World. I was wondering where I'd seen him. Well, he's in the first Jurassic World. I was going to say, he's the little kid in little the... Little kid in the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting work. Anyway. He's also in another movie. Ar- he's in I, I mean, he's also in another, uh, another Marvel he movie. <laughs> he is. <laughs> but we'll talk about that when we get to it, I guess. Sad day. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyway, so Maya and Pepper are together and, oh, well, first Pepper is by herself because she has like one of his helmets because she notices there's a light blinking and it's a message from Tony. So she knows that he's alive. Yeah, he recorded like a message, yeah. Mm-hmm. Before the suit went kaput, I guess. Mm-hmm. Before all the battery went out. Yeah. So she gets that. And so she's like, all right, everything's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. She takes Maya, they start talking and... Maya works for Killian, and she thinks that Killian works for the Mandarin. Uh Uh-huh. So that's not good. Yep. Tony and the kid, they go see the place where the other bomb exploded, and they're looking around, and there are only five shadows. Yeah. Because when the people get disintegrated- Or is it four shadows? Oh, it's five? Okay. Because when the people get disintegrated, you can see their shadows. Yeah. And there aren't six of them because- the guy, the bomber guy, doesn't have a shadow because he didn't go to heaven like the other yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> the shadows are the souls going up. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was just because he was the bomb. <laughs> yes. So uh, Tony goes to talk to that guy's mother. Yeah. And she has like a big file about everything. Mm-hmm. So he takes it. and then... Apparently somebody else had called her. Mm-hmm. She wasn't supposed to be meeting him. But that's who she met anyway because he got there first. Luckily. Mm-hmm. So she was supposed to be meeting up with the bad guys. Uh huh. But see, that woman when, was walking out yeah, of the bar because she was leaving the bar. He was coming in, unless she had talked to her earlier or something. But that doesn't make that sense. doesn't make sense either. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Yeah, they like just wanted to introduce her. I guess. I guess so. So yeah, but anyway, know. she does show up, and she's yeah. a Tony Stark under arrest. A Homeland Security baby. And the sheriff's like, uh, no, this sounds, no. I missed all of this because I was trying to make some rice for my dog. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's like, uh, no, I'm going to need more proof than that. Mm-hmm. And she's like, okay. And she extremises him and punches through his gut, basically. Yikes. Grabs the gun from the other guy, starts shooting people. Tony's able to make it out, though. And the mom lady's able to throw the file off. 
away to where it's hidden so she she can't get it okay yeah so yeah there's a big fight between tony and that woman whose name i do not know and then also the other guy shows up because he ends up like going into a restaurant or whatever yeah she follows him in there and she he ends up like blowing her up with like the microwave yeah he puts like the dog tags in the microwave and uh, like unplugs the gas yeah or whatever so so. it starts sparking and Mm -hmm. it makes a big explosion yep so she gets exploded she explodes. And the but of course the other guy is there and he goes yep. he's at the water tower. Yep. He just destroys the water tower. Just straight up. Do you know how long it takes to put a water tower up? Four it takes a long freaking time. Because <laughs> they put one up like n- close to where I work. Yeah. It took months for yeah. them to get that thing ready. Yeah. It's it's a lot. <sighs> It's a lot. This makes me so annoyed <laughs> at movies like this. I'm like, do you not understand how much, how much damage you're making? You're, you're doing, you're dealing to this poor town. Did you look up if this is a real town? I did not. Oh, uh, well, we don't know. So hopefully if they are, their water tower's intact. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just wanted to look and see where it was located because I was like, would it really be snowing in Tennessee? <laughs> yeah, I took real umbrage with that. Because I'm like, okay, I guess if it's close to like the mountains, yes. Yeah. But if it's like close to Memphis, probably not. But yeah. yeah. But there was one part where they were doing like Miss Chattanooga or whatever. I was like, okay, that makes a little more sense because that is kind of mountainous area. Okay. So... <laughs> I'm like, look, as someone who lives in the South and never gets to see snow, I, just, I don't like it when they, when they shove snow in places like that. Don't mock me. It's like, because <laughs> even like when I went to the mountains on Christmas Day, mm-hmm. there was no snow there. Yeah. It had snowed like a week before, but it was already gone by that time. Yeah. It wasn't all this nice, like fluffy snow and everything. Yeah. It'd be like all gross and slushy at that point. You know, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Sad. So, yeah, he tumbles down the thing. The water tower. Yeah. yeah. Tony's able to, like, get out. him back, basically. Well, he comes up. He's got the kid. He's mm-hmm. got Harley. And earlier, Tony had given Harley something to help with bullies. Yeah. And so he uses it as, like, a flashbang kind of thing. <laughs> he should not be giving this out to children. Like, what are you doing, oh, exactly. dude? Exactly. <laughs> you really want this kid to do this, to, like... Flash somebody's yeah, eyes like it's that. Gonna get arrested. It's cool. <laughs> like, Come on, Tony, you're not thinking, bro. Exactly. But anyway, that gets you know the kid to get away, and he can take down the guy. He calls him Westworld at one point too, mm-hmm. which is funny. But yeah, <laughs> should have called him Jason Statham. That'd have been really funny. <laughs> But anyway, he knocks him out. <laughs> so he can get away. The guy's still alive, of course. Yeah. But. Anyway, so he's extreme. Yeah. So Tony heads out in the guy's car. He just takes over the car. Yeah. And heads on out. <laughs> and I don't know where he was going. Uh, I think he was driving back home, basically. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But he starts talking to Jarvis, who has is trying to track down um, where the Mandarin stuff is coming from. Because mm-hmm. the Mandarin, of course, is back on live TV again. And... Straight up kills a guy, like a senator or something. Yeah. Was it a senator? Something like that? Uh, no, it was uh, Roxxon. Okay, uh, the head CEO. of... Okay, yeah. head of... Yeah, Because there was an oil spill and it got covered up. But no, okay. none of the people in charge had to pay for it or anything. So, okay. Yeah. He also contacts Rhodey. Yes, he does. Who's trying to find him in Pakistan. Mm-hmm. But he keeps getting like bad leads and stuff. So he's just wandering into places and scaring people. Because he, because Tony sees this piece of paper and he sees it. It says MIA on it. <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's in the, their documents, mm-hmm. the, the file of the, their uh of that soldier army or report yeah and it says it might, so it turns it around it is and it aim says, aim and it's like oh my god so that he's and like it's dumb so that's when he calls Rody and he's like Rody who was the one who what was the company who who like fixed Iron Patriot or whatever yeah. it was aim of course it oh, was of course it was so they've just been sending him all over the place yep. as far away from the actual Mandarin as possible but then that's when he gets 
his hand shook by an extremist person. Oh, my gosh. And they take him down. They take Rhodey. Disables the suit. But he does get to... That's after he tells Tony his password to get into yes. his account <laughs> his username and, and password. Which his password is War Machine Rocks. <laughs> with an X. With an X. All in caps. <laughs> but not where you think. <laughs> <laughs> but not where you think. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> where would it be? <laughs> War Machine Rocks. War Machine. (laughs) War Machine. Oh, geez. Uh, (laughs) So, yeah. So he's able to get in there and he finds out that the Mandarin is in Miami, which is not that far from Tennessee. So he heads down to Miami. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have, he realizes he doesn't have anything, basically. Yeah. He doesn't have anything that he needs, and so he's freaking out again. Yeah. And he starts having another anxiety attack, and then the kid's like, you're the mechanic, just build something. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, I Isn't can do that, that can I? do? <laughs> so he goes to like Home Depot or whatever and just gets a bunch of crap and makes stuff. Yeah, makes some bombs and some tasers and mm-hmm. a, an electric coil thing that he fries a dude's brain with, basically. <laughs> Clank, oh my gosh, dude. What the heck? He even like makes an exploding Christmas ornament. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. But yeah, we also see that Maya and Pepper are like in a hotel room or whatever. Okay. And, oh, <laughs> and Killian comes in. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he's bad. And, no. and you find out that Maya is actually kind of bad too. Yeah. And she's still working for him and just trying to get Tony to like join them. Yeah. And that's why she went to talk to him. She wants it to work, but yeah, she's kind of she sold has, her soul. She has good intentions. Yeah. But yeah, she just is working with the wrong people, basically. Yeah. yeah. So she's kind of a bad guy, but not also kind of not. Not full bad, yeah. but bad enough. Because yeah, like I said, she still wants. She's trying to help people. It's just you know, she got in with the wrong crowd, yeah. man. She too made the wrong choice, went down the wrong path. Mm-hmm. Don't so, do drugs. <laughs> so Tony infiltrates the house where the Mandarin is supposed to be, where all the transmissions and stuff are coming from, mm-hmm. and he meets. The Mandarin. The Mandarin's there. There he is. In with coming out of the bathroom. Yeah, and he's like, "Don't go in there for like twenty minutes." <laughs> talking to the two girls in the yep. bed, and he's got a real posh British accent. I don't know if it's posh. I was gonna say, I don't think I call it posh. <laughs> he has a, a British, British accent. accent. Yeah, and Tony comes up to him, is like, "It's the Mandarin," you know. Yeah, he's like gonna shoot him or whatever and he's like wait 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 i'm just an actor <laughs> i am the mandarin but i'm not the mandarin exactly but i am he's but like, i'm not my, I, i'm trevor slattery um i'm an actor yeah i've just been playing the part of the mandarin yeah this reveal very controversial Mm-hmm. I didn't like it <laughs> i don't i didn't hate it as much as everybody else but yeah. it's also like yeah. yeah and then who they reveal as the mandarin later is like yeah. <laughs> in this movie? Yeah. Was, yeah. But then that later sucks. we find out that all of that was a ruse, too. Cause he, yeah. Because none of those people are the <laughs> <Yeah>. Mandarin. <laughs> Named after an orange. And then, of course, we find out who the real Mandarin is. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is much better. <laughs> yeah. They really had to retcon this. Oh, they did. <laughs> this was a very bad reveal. Yeah. They got... they. Tried to get too cute with it. Yeah. I, I, ben Kingsley as Trevor Slattery is actually still pretty good. Though. Oh, yeah. I like him. <laughs> he is funny. But um, they put... Uh, Tony puts the two girls into the bathroom. Where he just where he came, just out, came out, of. out of it. It's like, oh, no. Just let them leave. Just, please let them leave. Don't walk them in that bathroom with that smell. That just messed up. That's so wrong. You heard it. You literally heard him when he yep. came out. That's you cruel, know what bro. he was doing in there. <laughs> It's cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> they didn't do anything to you. Come on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so um, uh, we find out that Killian has given Pepper extremists. Mm-hmm. She got the extremists. Yes, because, oh, because I guess we didn't say this, but Tony does get captured. <laughs> yes, he so does. He gets captured there. How did he get captured? I don't know, but he's in the dungeon with Maya. Which is in that place uh-huh. where they were. Yeah. Oh, because uh, the guy shows up when he's talking to Trevor. Trevor looks over oh, and he's sees him behind right. him. Oh, that's right, yeah. And so yeah. he gets taken out by that that's guy. That's right, yeah. Whose name I still do not know. Jason Statham. 
<laughs> I know he has a name, and it's not Jason Statham. Man has no name. So we're going to start calling him Jack Nagar. <laughs> That's better than Jason <laughs> Statham. Oh, jeez. Anyway, so yeah, he is given Pepper Extremis, um, and he just straight up kills Maya, because she's like, I'm not going to work for you yeah. anymore. Yeah, she threatens to like blow herself up, basically. Yeah, and he's like, ah, you know what, don't need you anymore, and just shoots her. Yeah. And then also he breathes fire. Yeah, which you're like, oh man, he breathes fire. That's going to be crazy later when he's fighting. Nope, never see it again. <laughs> it I just, didn't say that. <laughs> I no, you didn't say that, but oh, I'm okay. saying like when you <laughs> like, see it, you're like, oh, okay, he breathes fire. That's crazy. Because I was like, he's a dragon now. What is this? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, he's fighting Tony like one on one in man to man. Just throw some fire in his face, like. But no, he doesn't ever breathe fire again. No, it's just a one off. It's a one and done kind it of thing. It was. It was dumb. Yeah. I, that, that was. Yeah, I don't like the extremist thing. I don't think that... I don't think it was a good thing. There were a lot of dumb things in this. Yeah. So, anyway, Tony manages to get loose because he's able to call his suit to him because it's had time to recharge. Yeah. Because Harley was supposed to be recharging it for him. Yeah. And he has to, like, open the barn so it can get all the way out. And it has to fly all the way down to Miami, (laughs) but it does it. Yeah. And so he gets a suit and everything. And... Kicks butts. Mm Mm-hmm. Eats nuts. (laughs) Squirrel girl thing. (laughs) And, of course, Rhodey loses his suit because they get it off of him and take it. Yeah, they they heat him up. Mm Mm-hmm. And... Eventually jumps out and starts punching people. That's when he starts breathing fire. Yeah. (laughs) But anyway, so Tony and Rhodey meet up together because he's like, I've got something to show you. So he shows him Trevor. They they like incapacitated Rhodey and then just like, eh, leave him here. Nobody, nobody worry about taking it. Nobody care cares about Rhodey. He's just able to just walk around the compound. Yeah. Just doing whatever. Like, okay. I don't know. Real I tight mean, ship think, you're running here. I, I feel like some people were after him, but I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. It didn't seem like it. <laughs> but anyway, so he goes, they go see Trevor and uh, he tells them that there's some plan that has something to do with the vice president. And so they're like, oh no, yeah, they're oh. going to kill the vice president. Yeah. So they get in touch with the vice president and they yeah. tell him what's happening. And he's like, okay, I'll take care of it. Yeah. And you find out that he's the one behind it. <laughs> yeah, he's a bad... Because they're also like, the president may be in danger. Mm-hmm. And he's like, it's okay. The Iron Patriot's with him. Yeah. And Rhodey's like, bro, I'm here. Yeah. That's not me up there. And he's yeah. like, oh my gosh, I'll scramble some fighters. Yeah. Hangs up. All right, back to Christmas party. Yeah. <laughs> Not yep. going to worry about it. This he is all going starts, to plan. He just goes off starts like singing Christmas carols with his grandkid yep. and everything. <laughs> He's yeah. having a good time. Because we see mm-hmm. his grandkid yep. is missing a leg. Yep, his little granddaughter is so missing a leg. He's probably been promised she's going to be able to get her leg back mm-hmm. with the power of extremists. Yep. Because all the people that he's turned were like soldiers that got injured. Yes, and had like amputations and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's helpful, but it's also got some really bad side effects. Yes, because for some people it works really well, and for some people it does not. And Mm -hmm. that's when they explode. Yeah. So so they have to go, Tony has to go save people from Air Force One. Yep. But they take the president before he can get there, or before he can help save them. Yeah. So he has to save all the other people who have been, like, thrown out of the plane, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They blast a hole in the side and everybody yeah. gets sucked out. So there's, like, 15 people or something. Which I don't think is what happens. I think that's one of those, like, myths that you'll just get sucked out. I don't know. I, mean, I feel like I feel like it is. But it's good for movies. So yeah. So it works. Anyway, so they all get sucked out. Shooked out. You get shooked out. So he has to go do Barrel of Monkeys with them. Uh-huh, because he can only support four. Mm-hmm. But apparently if they support each other, it works. I don't know why that is. I don't know. But But whatever. He gets all of them into a chain, basically, and then can drop them over over the water without hurting without it hurting them. And they're just hoping they can swim. Yep. And they're they all seem to be fine. (laughs) They're like, they're all real happy about it. Thanks, Iron Man, you're our hero. (laughs) They're not like freaking out that they were just Falling, falling. Free falling. From a plane. <laughs> and the plane exploded. Yeah, they're just and like... And they nearly died. Like, yeah, that was oh, great! Let us do it again, Tony! This is like the best day of our lives! <laughs> I'm gonna be on TV! 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yep. So the suits the the suit actually before everybody falls, he fights the the Jason Statham. Yeah. And Jason Statham starts heating it up and it's like about to go off, so he spreads his arms and then shoots a big blast from his chest, just mm-hmm. a big hole in that dude. So yep. he's dead now. Yeah, he's gone. And yeah, and then everybody's celebrating. Tony, you saved us and everything. He's like, "All right, I'm off to my duties." And he flies up and it, he, gets he hit by runs a truck. over by a truck. Yeah, and you find out that he wasn't in the suit the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it was just the suit. So the suit's kind of clumsy. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the Mark Forty Two suit, so it's yeah. already not doing that well in the it's first a, place. It's a goof. Yeah. <laughs> so they, the bad guys, have the president now. They have him in the Iron Patriot suit, and they have him mm-hmm. strung up like above this oil rig. Kind of yeah, thing. they're gonna like blow it up, yeah. b- dump a bunch of oil on it basically as mm-hmm. a like symbolic thing. Yep. So and Killian even tells him, like, the dude we're doing it for is gonna have your job tomorrow. So mm-hmm. ha, 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 ha. So good job. You just told on the vice Here's president. Here's my evil plan, bro. <laughs> so if he does survive, he can be like, Okay, Vice President, yeah. you, you're out of here. He's like, Tomorrow I'm gonna have about the most powerful person in the West and the biggest terrorist in the world in the palm of my hands and I'll control everything. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna happen. I don't know why these people just want to control the world all the time. Well, he he was gonna make a lot of money off of it. Yeah. He's like, we're gonna be able to use this and market it and all this stuff, sell a bunch of stuff. It's all know. about that money, money. That seems like that seems like a lot of work. It is. <laughs> But, you know, he I could was never scorned. I could never rule the world. That's too much work for me. Like, too guys, lazy for this. Oh my gosh, just rule yourselves for a second. Just give me a day off. Can I just like have a week <laughs> to myself? Thanks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Tony and Rhodey are there, of course, mm-hmm. and Tony calls in all of his other suits. Yep, it's house party protocol. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so here they all come. They yep. all fly in. Pepper, of course, is there. At one point, one of the suits, like, hits the thing that she's in. Yeah, because the, the suit, like, goes into an extremist person and mm-hmm. flies them into just this, like, like crate of explosive barrels basically and so those barrels just go flying all around the place which Mm -hmm. those suits were being real dangerous in the situation and one of them flew and blew up right next to paltrow and killian yeah so her name is paltrow now paltrow and also he had told them all to like look for heat signatures of people with extremists and just go after those and kill them with extreme bridges it's like, like okay, but your, but your girlfriend has extremists. You know she has extremists. Did you not think this through? What are you doing, son? So yeah, a lot of these suits. I I question what their purpose was. Like one of them, one of them's like a big jack. Like it's yeah. just able to get under stuff and jack stuff up. I don't know what he was going to use that one for. Another one has like jackhammer arms. I mean, like, honestly, he's just like doing whatever is he, he just can. Gonna, he just doesn't care. He's just, just going like, to do road work or something. He, like, he, what's his deal? I don't know. He just wants to do different things, I guess. I guess. And he's, he doesn't sleep. So maybe a lot of it has to do with sleep deprivation. So yeah. he's like, you know what? I'm real tired, but you know what would be great? <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be <laughs> cool? If jackhammer hits. If this thing could just like... <laughs> And jack up <laughs> a large object and hold it up. That would be pretty sweet, man. You know, it would be. So and I don't he know. did it. <laughs> <laughs> and they all have names too. Yeah, yeah. But I, can't I don't remember, remember <laughs> any of them. <laughs> Red Sparrow, maybe something like that. This one I but don't remember. I don't know. Anyway, so whatever the thing is that Pepper is in, it starts moving towards something that's going to smash into or something. Yeah, she like keeps like she's like that uh, that cartoon where like a baby's like just walking around the, a construction site and keeps <laughs> like getting onto beams that keep moving around. She just kind of gets into things yeah. and gets taken places and he has to like chase her down. So anyway, he goes up and he finally gets to the spot where he needs to be and he's going to catch her. He's like, you've got to let go. Uh But then something hits the back, like behind him and she falls and he he doesn't catch her. Yeah, she just falls into the fire pit. So Pepper's dead. Which I wouldn't mind. (laughs) I mean, I mind. I'm not, 
<laughs> Pepper's Gwyneth Paltrow is not my favorite. <laughs> She's not mine either. But so I, it's not like well. I was like, oh no, Pepper. My favorite character. Oh no. No, I was more sad when the, the robots <laughs> fell in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like no. The and then robots. Pepper is like, oh, oh god, there goes Pepper. Okay. <laughs> and honestly, Tony doesn't seem that choked up about it either. <laughs> He seems pretty upset at first, and then but but once he starts fighting, yeah. it kind of he kind of s- stops. Yeah, and I like the Killian's first thing is like, dude, I would have caught her. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's just me. I don't know. I guess I'm just like better than you or whatever. <laughs> Real low blow, <laughs> right? For no reason. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> so uh, yes, yeah, so they fight and everything. It's you know, it's a fight. It's a fight. Uh, Which again, he should have just breathed the dragon breath into his face. Yeah, and also Rhodey is doing some stuff too. He's trying to get to the president. He gets yeah. up there. He does save him. Yeah, and then he's like, "Mr. President, you look great in that suit, but I'm gonna need that back." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so the, I guess the president's like, "Yeah, I guess I don't need any kind of like protection here. Just have this suit." <laughs> But yeah, he gives it back to him and then he flies off with the president. So he gets him out of there. Yeah. So the president is fine. Yep. Of course, Tony and Killian are still fighting. He puts him into the Mark 42 suit, Mm -hmm. which we already know is a terrible suit. prodigal son. He comes back. Yeah. (laughs) And like immediately trips and just (laughs) Just falls falls to pieces. Yeah, falls apart. Okay. (laughs) Well. (laughs) Yeah. So he puts the... Uh, the Mark 42 suit on Killian, and then he, he's like, okay, destroy Mark 42. Mm-hmm. And so it self-destructs with it Killian inside it. But he's still alive, of course yeah, he is. Yeah, he just crawls out of st- stuff. Yeah, so he gets over to Tony, and he's like, I'm the Mandarin. I'm the Mandarin, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the juggernaut. Yep, so yeah, so he's like, I'm the Mandarin, and we're like... <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> no. Especially now, because it's like, because we've seen Shang-Chi. Yeah. But it's like, mm, no. Yeah. It, when they did it first, I was like, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> just, just no. no. But then, who comes to save the day? It's Pepper. Pepper. She's, yeah, she's yeah, back. Yeah, she's she fine. A, she just whacks him with a pole. Yeah. Basically. And then she kills him. I forget what she does to do it, but... Well, she's getting... Because the suit starts going oh, after yeah. her because he told him to kill all the heat signatures because he's dumb. And he's like, oh, wait, movie. no, not that yeah. heat signature. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stop. But, of course, his his earpiece has fallen out, so I mm-hmm. can't hear him. So it so, goes after Pepper, and she, like, She just jumps it. up and just punches it in the middle. Yeah, and, and then she slams takes, it down. And she takes its arm, I think, mm-hmm. and she uses that to kill Killian. Uh, yeah, like well, she, like, blasts him back and then takes a missile out of there and just, mm-hmm. like, throws it at him, I think. And, and explodes, explodes it. Explodes it, yeah. yeah. So, he did. So, Killian's gone. He's out of there. And Pepper's like, oh, wow, that was, like, really violent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah. So, Tony's like, well, now I think it's time for a clean slate protocol. So, he destroys all of his suits mm-hmm. now that everything is... Fine, I guess. I hated that too, honestly. Because like now you have to start all over yeah. from scratch. Like I get why he did it. Because I mean, it was a thing for Pepper. He's showing she's yeah. more important than the suits and all that. But I mean, what happens when they're like, okay, Avengers, we got another problem? And he's gonna be like, dang it, now I gotta make a new suit. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, maybe he's planning on like giving up that life and all that, but. Yeah. That's what I was like. Yeah, I I did not like the end of this movie, honestly. That was what really left a sour taste in my mouth. So, yeah. But he tells her he can probably cure her disease. Like, Mm -hmm. it's not even like a big deal. He's like... like yeah. It's fine. I almost had the formula for it while I was drunk <laughs> yeah. one night, so, so I, I can think probably I can do, do it. it. Yeah, so don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, well, I guess we're fine then. And so, yeah, I'm not so, sure why he didn't help originally to help those people. <laughs> I don't know. So he he cures her, and yeah. then he's like, "Well, you know, now that you're cured and everything, let's just go ahead and get this shrapnel out of out yeah. of me." Like, yeah. Why didn't you do that before? Seriously, what? So, oh I gosh. guess it was risky, but I guess. But I mean, isn't it still risky? Yeah, I don't. Uh, maybe he's willing to take the risk. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Happy wakes up too because he's been in a coma the whole time. Yeah, and he wakes up and he's like watching <laughs> Downton Abbey. Yeah, because 
Tony turned it on for him. He's like, he loves the... I don't remember what he said. He I, loves the... I must have been out of the room at the time. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, he's a big fan, apparently. And he, the nurse likes it, too, apparently. Yeah, he's so like, they're kind of watching it together. Up, girl? He's looking over there. And it's mm-hmm. cute because the two characters that were on screen, one of them is a nurse and one of them is a chauffeur, which is kind of what oh, Happy was. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. I didn't, <laughs> and even, she's a nurse, I didn't even get so that. So. It's kind of like, oh, that's kind of like us. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. But I mean, um, also, you have watched out nabby so you wouldn't know all that i was like okay if you would just freaking watch it with me <laughs> i would get this one reference. you would understand this and you would also get to see dan stevens that's true <laughs> but no if he's not legion in there i don't uh, i'll be disappointed <laughs> he just breaks out some legion stuff i'll tell you what i'll just have to tell you about the whole show at some point <laughs> oh boy. get ready for our four-part episode <laughs> On Downton Abbey. Oh, well, I mean, there are like five seasons and two movies now, so <laughs> hmm, it could be a while. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, he also uh, sends a bunch of stuff to Harley because mm-hmm. he op- goes out and opens his the barn or whatever, and there's just all kinds of cool stuff in there. Gives him a car. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's he's like well, <laughs> yeah, he's not old enough to drive that. A potato gun, which he's probably just gonna shoot the bullies with and get suspended or something again. Maybe like. Bro, stop giving him weapons. <laughs> it's potato gun Mark II. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's what he came in with. He had a potato gun and uh-huh. shot it at, at Tony when he first saw him in yep. there. But yeah. And then, of course, he goes back to the ruins of his house and he packs up whatever was left behind. He did have... There was a robot in there. There was. At least one survived. Was, yep. At least one in there. But one died. <laughs> yep. And he packs it all up and he Finds leaves. Finds an old little screwdriver. That he takes. Mm-hmm. And that's that's it. Uh-huh. He just drives away. Didn't like it. I did not like that ending at all. I was so like, the heck, man? So that's it? But then he says something about, you know, that he still says that he's Iron Man, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. And yeah. it's like, we know that he comes back. And yeah. then also at the very end of it, it says Iron Man will return. It's like. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. what suits are you going to be wearing? Because the only one left is Iron Patriot at this point. Right. <laughs> oh, and also, of course, the pres- uh, the vice president got arrested. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't mention that, but yes. <laughs> yeah. In the middle of Christmas. Mm-hmm. You would have your own mother arrested at, <laughs> at Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> what is this? It's from Hawkeye. Oh. Because <laughs> Kate Bishop gets her mom arrested. Because yeah. she's the bad guy. Yep. Oh, that's funny. So, yeah, we did have a post credit scene. Yeah, though, just so. the one. Mm hmm. Before they got real crazy with the post credit scenes. I guess so. Although they've been pretty crazy with them, I think. But Maybe. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, this one is just Tony talking to what you think is going to be a, a therapist. Mm-hmm. And... Like, pans- this is the person mm-hmm. he's been telling the, the whole, whole story, story to. Yeah. yeah. And so it pans over and you see that it's Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Bruce so Banner. So Bruce Banner's there and he's, like, asleep. Yeah. <laughs> he <nodded laughs> he's off. just napping. Yeah. And he wakes up, and of course Tony's like, "What the heck? You, where did you? When did you fall asleep?" And he's like, ah, "I don't know, sometime around Switzerland." Yeah, so like the, the very beginning, in elevator in Switzerland, so the very beginning. Yeah, he's like, "I'm not that kind of doctor." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, cute little moment in between those two. It was good, but it helped him get a lot of stuff off of his chest, mm-hmm. and it did. It commented on a lot of. It helped Tony realize. His choices had impact, like how he pretty much made Killian a villain, mm-hmm. a demon, and the other, and the Maya, and yeah. all that. So he actually needs to think about what he's doing yep. instead of giving his address out on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah, it was real stupid. It's like, that's just asking for your. For your whole mansion to be bombed and yeah. fall into the ocean. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you earned that. But, yeah. I thought that, that part of it's interesting. And his PTSD and all that. Mm-hmm. That's an interesting side of it. Because you don't see that a lot with superheroes. So... Yeah, there's had some redeeming qualities. Yeah, there's a whole video uh, by this channel I watch on YouTube called Cinema Therapy, Mm -hmm. and they talk about uh, his PTSD in that movie. It's a really good video. Yeah, so would Mm -hmm. recommend. (laughs) (laughs) So, do you still feel this one's better than the second Iron Man? (sighs) I don't know. I still don't like the second one. Yeah. The only good thing about it is Scarlett Johansson. (laughs) Yeah. I thought this one, 
I liked it more than I remembered liking mm-hmm. it. I still just, the ending, just I don't like the ending. Even knowing what I know now about what everything happens, I, just, I don't know. It felt weird. And Killian being the Mandarin is bad. But everything leading up to it, like the beginning, I'd say the first like three quarters of it are really enjoyable. Mm-hmm. I like the kid. I was going to say, a lot good. of, I feel like a lot of people don't like it because of the kid, but I like the whole kid. I thought thing. he had a good interaction yeah. with the kid. And yeah. I thought, and the kid wasn't like too much, you know, yeah. to where it's like, oh, God, he wasn't, this kid. It, it didn't even show, he wasn't even around that much. Yeah. And I really did like the, the part where he gets into the car and the kid's like, <laughs> I'm cold. Yeah. Like, give me a ride home. <laughs> kind of, he's like, mm, no. And just no. leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I know you're not cold? We have a connection. Exactly. And he just takes <laughs> off. And yeah. the, cat, the kid's like, eh, it was worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, You're going to leave like my dad. Like my dad. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's like, are you trying to guilt trip me? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I like the kid. Yeah. It was, it was good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, uh, it's better than I remember. I, I can't decide if it's better than two, though. I, I like two more than most people, I think. Okay. But. I mean, I, I still can never, like, I've only seen the second one twice. And mm-hmm. one of them was for this podcast. Yeah. And I swear, it's like the whole thing with Mickey Rourke's character. Yeah. The, literally, the only thing I can remember is him talking about his bird. His board. His board. <laughs> My board. <laughs> My board. Get the light board. Exactly. That's literally the only thing I remember. That and him like whipping the car and yeah. half at the Grand Prix thing. I mean, that bird was very important. It was real important to the whole MCU, really. I know. Real it was like the linchpin. Yeah, <laughs> it's the like Kevin Feige. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so, anyway. well, all right. Let's move along then mm-hmm. to our snacks. Okay. What we got. This week we have, okay, so this was just something I happened to like when I was, I got it last week because I was out getting the ingredients for Uh the cake that we had for the snack last week. Right. And I was just in the checkout lane and I looked over and I saw this and I went, what? is this what happened we have to try this yeah it is a kit kat uh-huh but it is a limited edition blueberry muffin uh-huh. kit kat yeah i wish kit kat would do like what they do in japan where they have just all, those all kinds of like crazy flavors they're insane yeah i think that's fun it would make me get kit kats more often so this one looks interesting. And we've had different flavored Kit Kats. Because remember we had that one that was like a lemon, some kind of lemon flavor. Yeah. It was like lemon sunshine or something weird like that. Mm-hmm. But it was really good. It was good. So I'm hoping that this will be similar. Which yeah. I like Kit Kats anyway, so. Yeah. I, I, I They're fine. Yeah. I'm not going to get mad at a Kit Kat, but I, I don't know why they're people's favorite candies. I don't understand it at all. <laughs> I'm not going to get mad at a Kit Kat. And then, like, later you're sitting here going, <laughs> you stupid Kit Kat! Kat! <laughs> you're just oh, yelling at it. <laughs> just break me off a piece! Oh, why do you break so easily? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, anyway, yeah, it's a blueberry muffin. Uh, blueberry muffin flavored cream on the outside. Mm. And it looks purple from the package. And we should say we are comparing this to some blueberry muffins that... You made this morning yes. from scratch. So from scratch. Yep. Will it live up to those? It's going to be tough. <laughs> it is because those blueberry good. muffins were really freaking good. <laughs> By the way, also a lot of great responses for your cake that you made really? last week. Yeah. I have not. We've gotten some comments. I haven't looked at our social media. Why are you against this podcast? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're the one who does the social media. I didn't realize. Was it a bunch of people who are our Flag Means Death fans? Uh... I don't know. Was it Twitter? <laughs> huh? Was it Twitter? <laughs> well, uh, no, actually. Uh, I mean, we got likes and stuff on Twitter, but uh, it was uh, Instagram and oh, Facebook. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, Considering that usually the only people who like our stuff is us, <laughs> I think that was probably pretty good. <laughs> the win, baby. <laughs> and our moms. Our moms also yes. like our stuff sometimes. Yes. And one of those people that commented may have been your mom <laughs> probably <laughs> hopefully these haven't melted because mm, it fine. is getting a little warm in here a little toasty they're a little purplish mm-hmm. a little blueberry they smell very blueberry they smell really good are you eating two at the same time i was you going monster to- <laughs> i was going to but then i was like 
He's gonna kill me. I'll do that. <laughs> We're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> because you ate two Kit Kat pieces together. Do you ew. just eat a block of Kit Kat just without breaking it apart? No. <laughs> Are you a psychopath? I don't, and I hate it when other people do. I'm like, no. <laughs> but for some reason, I was just very tempted. It's my, pretty good. It my just... inner monster wanted to come out. Apparently. <laughs> it is really good. It tastes very blueberry muffiny. Mm -hmm. Like, surprisingly. Mm hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's really pulling it off. It does. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. Oh they gosh. did it. They actually did it. <laughs> this is how I usually eat mine. <laughs> okay, that that I can get behind. You try to get all. You at least eat. You at least eat all the edges off mm -hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I usually try and separate the wafers with my teeth, and it never works, or very rarely works. <laughs> yeah. It works better on the, it like, ends the up minis. Just, it ends up just like breaking into pieces. Yeah. Because it's too long. Mm hmm It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I think I like those lemon ones we had better, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would definitely get those again, which I might would get this again because it's really good. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be mad. I'd definitely get that over a regular Kit Kat. They're blue. Duh, dee, <laughs> get out of my apartment. <laughs> I will not <laughs> hear this anymore. <laughs> I will not stand for it. <laughs> All right. Well, what are we rating these? Mm, you want me to go first? Sure. I'm going to go with an eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm pretty good. That I is would good. definitely. That is good. Definitely eat it again. Yeah. I mean, it, it's good. It's not going to be like one of my top candies or anything. So I'll probably go eight. Okay. Just straight up. I feel like I probably gave the lemon one much higher than that. Oh, really? I really liked lemon. I, Can't remember. I should go back and listen to all of the snack stuff and make yeah. a spreadsheet or something. Everyone should. Yeah, if Just anybody wants back. to do that yeah. and do it for us, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> well, yeah. good job, Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. You're done good. So far, you're doing good. <laughs> so what is your favorite weird Kit Kat flavor you've tried have you tried any of those japanese ones they seem pretty cool i've only tried like matcha i was gonna say i've, I've tried the matcha one it was good yeah it was pretty good it got tiring after a while but you don't want to eat too many you don't of want them. one of them <laughs> what do you think about iron man 3 how does it rank in the iron man's how's she hope going you like it cool uh let us know <laughs> you don't like it don't talk to me <laughs> <laughs> we don't want no <laughs> no it's fine <laughs> if you don't let like us it let us know on Twitter at Having Fun Cast or on Facebook at Having Fun Pod. Or you can send us an email at Having Fun Pod at gmail.com. So go have fun and we will see you next week. It's going to be spooky season. It's going to be spooky season. Goodbye. Bye.